The Lightning Strikes trailer is here for Battlefield 5. We got looks at the co-op mode, combined arms, new weapons, new vehicles, the rush game mode, the squad conquest game mode, and a glorious tractor highlight from the Firestorm mode as a tease for the next chapter. I've also got loads of information from the Battlefield website as well, pretty much everything you need to know about lightning strikes for Battlefield 5. Let's break this down and get you all of those details. First of all, let's start off with the brand new weapons. Only in shot for a few short frames each, it would be very difficult to identify them, but I've got the patch notes. First, a new medic weapon. I can hear you all cheering in the comments section. This is the ZK-383, a Czech weapon designed in the 1930s. It was originally intended to be a squad automatic weapon, but it ended up being used in the submachine gun role. It fired from an open bolt, and if the operator removed the bolt weight, the rate of fire would increase from 450 to around 750 rounds per minute. Remains to be seen if this will make its way into Battlefield 5 as an option for the ZK, but it is interesting nonetheless. Next up, we have the Model 1944, or what you might know as the Mass 44. This French semi-automatic rifle was hastily produced, and when produced in quantity in 1944, it was mostly pieced together from memory and early drawings of the rifle. This was because the prototypes were stolen after the Germans retreated later in the war by the French resistance. It features a 10-round box magazine, and it will be added to the assault class. And lastly, we have the M1922. This will be a new medium machine gun coming to the support class, but unfortunately, we didn't get a clear look at it in the trailer. Known as the Hotchkiss M1922 machine gun, this French weapon featured a variable fire rate and could be fed via a 20-round overhead magazine or feed strips. With the chapter being broken down into different weeks worth of assignments that you need to traverse the tree in order to unlock the reward, the Czech weapon, the ZK-383, that will be the reward for week one, the Mass-44 will be the reward for week two, and the M1922, the medium machine gun, that will be the reward for week four of the chapter. Moving away from weapons now and onto our first look at combined arms. This is the co-op mode coming to Battlefield 5. From the trailer we get very much a cinematic look at the game mode, but we know we're going to be able to squad up with three friends and take on multiple scenarios in a four-person co-op mode. Market Sweep takes place on the Rotterdam map, Desert Declarations takes place on Hamada, Bricks and Mortars on Arras, and Bridgehead Blockade on Twisted Steel. There are more scenarios, however. The Battlefield website mentions eight in total. Whether these are on the same maps or spread across different ones, we don't know right now. The objective of these scenarios will be a surgical strike on a single objective. Now, the mode is dropping in February, partway through the Lightning Strikes chapter. New vehicles will be taking centre stage in Chapter 2, with at least three set to be introduced. They're all geared around one thing, hunting other tanks. We'll also get access to two squad reinforcement options with the Lightning Strikes chapter as well, Sector Artillery and Smoke Barrage. These join the V1 and JB2 rockets, other vehicle options, and the Supply Canister as items that the squad leader can call in when they're needed. Unexpected additions, but I've got to say, welcome ones. I was growing a little bit tired of the options that we have right now, and getting some variation could go down really well on certain maps. The Rush game mode got some airtime in the trailer as well. I was very excited to see that. Again, cinematic looks and feels, but this is a returning classic mode that many veterans of the franchise will surely be waiting for. However, the mode is again, like the co-op mode, available later on in the chapter. It will be available in March, right before the game moves into Chapter 3. Rush will be supported on three different maps, Narvik, Twisted Steel and Devastation, and it's going to go live on March the 7th, and it will go offline on March the 20th. I've got to say that I am quite disappointed that it's being held right to the very end, but at least it's something that I can look forward to over the next eight weeks. By the end of the chapter, I'll get to play the game mode that I really, really want to play. 
In direct contrast to that, Squad Conquest, which is the other limited time game mode, that starts off the chapter on January 17th, later this week. This is a scaled-down, infantry-focused version of Normal Conquest, where two teams of eight fight over three flag locations on smaller maps, or smaller areas of the maps, that you already know from the base game. We have Rotterdam, Arras, and Hamada. The locations on the maps chosen to focus the combat down are defined lanes. Gameplay is going to flow really well for infantry play here. There is a defending team and an attacking team, and that's going to be defined by the map setting. And defenders, they start with all of the flags captured. The objective, like normal conquest, is to capture and hold the flags, bleeding down enemy reinforcements, and the team that loses all their tickets first loses the match. Sounds quite interesting to me, but... Strangely, sounds very similar to Domination. I'll have to test this out on the 17th to see what the differences really are here. There will be a brand new Grand Operation added to Battlefield 5 as part of the Lightning Strikes chapter as well. Starting on February the 21st, the Panzerstorm map and the Arras map are being combined into a French-Belgian countryside battle where you'll be able to play Airborne and Breakthrough on Panzerstorm. That will be really interesting. And Rush and Final Stand on Arras. Sounds really interesting. And with 64 players, Rush could just be absolute chaos. DICE also chose to reference new company gear in the chapter trailer. Looking to the Battlefield website, there is a full breakdown of all the different chapter rank rewards that we'll be getting, including lots of new weapon skins and soldier outfits for different weapons that haven't had those skins before. And from items highlighted in the trailer, I think there's been a big push from the DICE team to keep outfits more in tone with the war that's being fought, but still trying to keep things interesting and cool at the same time. The chapter rank for Lightning Strikes, that's been set at 40 this time, so we're getting double the amount of rewards and double the amount of levels to grind through, so there really is going to be some grinding this time for those cosmetic items. And lastly, of course, even though it's not in Chapter 2 and it's coming in Chapter 3, the tease of Firestorm at the end of the trailer. Criterion developers have been hinting at tractors recently on Twitter and sort of raising eyebrows about it when people talk about it. It seems their hints were pointed towards this. The fact that you can drive tractors in the Firestorm Battle Royale mode. It's only a very brief look at the mode, but again we get to see that Northern European Scandinavian setting, but this time there's no Ring of Fire in sight. Likely it's not closed in far enough yet, but the setting does look absolutely fantastic, I've got to say. And I can't wait to get stuck into matches of Firestorm in March when it launches. Now, despite the fact there are no new maps coming in this chapter, what DICE is laying on for us in terms of content does appear to be very healthy indeed. Lots of co-op scenarios, the Rush game mode, the Squad Conquest game mode, new vehicles, new weapons, new squad reinforcements, a new Grand Operation, and plenty of cosmetic items all for free. So, you can't really argue with that. Would a new map have been nice? Yes, I'm not going to turn down a new map. But we know Chapter 3, along with the Firestorm map, is bringing Greece as a location, and likely a couple of maps with it. March isn't too far away now, so if you're looking for new maps, you haven't really got too long to wait. However, I believe there's going to be a lot to keep us entertained until then with the Lightning Strikes chapter. Let me know what you think of all this information down below in the comments section, good or bad. I want to hear your opinions today, and I'll be back tomorrow with another full video going over the patch notes for Lightning Strikes. We've got lots of good changes coming our way. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.